teaching women how to be safe, how to dress, how to not drink, what time were you out at night, all of this, start putting the teaching and all of the instructions to the boys and men. Uh, I, I agree with your point about not all criticisms of Islam are Islamophobic, but I would like to say this, in a country like India, in which you are a Hindu majority country, right? Yeah, so I would like to ask you where the power lies. Where is the power when you make a critique like that? Are you punching up or are you punching down? If you are punching down, then you should shut up and get someone from that minority group, as Nevedita said, to criticize. I'm a Muslim and I openly criticize my religion and I openly criticize my fellow, my co-religionists. But again, when I'm in the United States, and if I get some white Christian fundamentalists who, who wants to do that, I remind them that they're the Christian Brotherhood. And you have a Hindu Brotherhood here. And there is a Jewish Brotherhood. And there is a Buddhist Brotherhood. And all of those Brotherhoods are more interested in criticizing other people's Brotherhoods so that they can tell their own women, shut up, you have it good, look how bad it is over there. And my message to all those Brotherhoods is they should shut the fuck up and stop obsessing about my vagina and stay out of my vagina unless I want you in there. Because all of those Brotherhoods are obsessed with women's bodies and women's vaginas. And to the woman over here asking about Kashmir, I feel your pain exquisitely. This is why I said it's exhausting to do this kind of work. And it's always women who are told to wait. And it's always women who are told, don't you know it's much worse for X, Y, and Z. In Egypt, the argument is, we have 60,000 political prisoners, people are being disappeared, women can wait. Women can't wait. Women are not a luxury item. Women are not fluff. We have 50% of society, if not more. And if people are telling you to wait and making it harder, you have to ask why they're invested in waiting for women to be liberated. Because no society will be liberated.